Kelly Rulon made her name on the world water polo stage as a teenager, joining Team USA during her freshman year at UCLA. The 19-year-old Rulon arrived in Athens for the 04 Olympic Games on the heels of helping UCLA win the 2003 NCAA championship, the first of four she would earn. Rulon helped Team USA claim bronze in Greece. The following year was a medal-winning event yet again as she took silver at the FINA World Championships while adding another collegiate title with UCLA. She stepped away from the national team in 2006, but not from water polo. In 2007, Rulon capped her start, started career in Westwood with another title and Catino Award honors. Not long after, Rulon embarked on an international club career in Italy that saw her become a top player the world over. In 2009, she returned to Team USA, earning gold at the FINA World Championships. After World Cup and Pan American Games crowns, Rulon found redemption from Athens with Olympic gold in 2012 in London. She's remained involved in the sport ever since, coaching age group water polo with Corona Del Mar Aquatics in Southern California. Probably around 1999 on a joint club trip to Greece. We went to Athens, Greece with Long Beach Shore and San Diego Shores. And Kelly was about 15 years old in 1999. And she did a fantastic job playing with the younger girls, 16 and unders against Wulak Many, 16 and unders. And uh, just watching and helping coach the 18 and unders on the same trip. I thought Kelly should be able to play in these games. So I talked to the other coaches from Long Beach and we decided that Kelly should uh, be able to play with the 18 year olds. And so Kelly and future Olympic teammate Lauren Wenger did a phenomenal job. She just did great. Uh, she could handle pressure passing and she could handle uh, the offense and scoring and, and passing the ball. So I'd say around 1999, Kelly was on her way. I'm really fortunate uh, to coach her at, at UCLA. Um, and, you know, our success obviously coincided with, with her journey and um, watched her win four national championships and I think become the all-time when she was there the all-time leading scorer at, at UCLA and and then to have the opportunity to coach her on on an Olympic level as well you know so uh, I, I've been extremely fortunate uh, to have someone like her in my life as a as an athlete but honestly just as much of a pleasure to have her as as a friend and someone who uh, I still really enjoy talking to when I get the opportunity the two biggest things that stand out to me about Kelly would be the love that she brought to our team. And not just the love for playing water polo and, and bringing the team together, but just her belief in really loving the people around you. And she had this ability to articulate how important it was for us to, to come together and to care for one another and how if we could ultimately do that, that was gonna be the biggest determining factor in whether or not we were successful. And the other way I would describe her would just be fun. Some of the most fun moments I had were with Kelly. 2008 was a pivotal moment in Kelly's water polo career. Kelly not being named to the 2008 Olympic team was a little bit controversial. A lot of athletes in this position, they would have hung up their cap, retired, and been really thankful for such a great career. But Kelly did the opposite. She followed her heart and she continued playing all the way until she made the 2012 Olympic team where her and her teammates won gold in London. This moment defined Kelly as a person of great perseverance, dedication, and showed her true love for the sport of water polo. In 2009, and uh, Adam became the head coach, uh, one of his first calls was to Kelly, and one of her first calls was to me, saying she's ready to come back and come out of national team retirement and, and try and help you know, lead the national team to a 2012 gold medal in London, which probably I'm able to say that she was showed wherewithal to come back and actually win the gold medal. She had the unique ability to be able to question my approach but she never did it in a threatening way. She had this ability to be able to kind of really relate and speak at the same level. It gave some comfort to a young coach that was trying to prove himself. And so that really helped me grow as, as a coach. And as I've always said, you know, she just brought so much joy. Her ability to balance a high powered corporate job, her family life, and remain a positive and influential presence in the coaching world is not only impressive, but it's a, an example to all the young women playing water polo out there 
that she has and continues to coach, lead, and teach the younger generation of women to strive for their goals through sport. She's the type of coach who wants her players to develop into great people and dependable teammates all while playing water polo. Undoubtedly, these young players are gonna grow up competitive, they're gonna grow up caring for their teammates, and they're gonna grow up really successful. They're gonna grow up freaking good water polo players because she's just so talented. And then, but just the spirit, the importance behind the why of what it is that you're doing is something that she's bringing to the next group, which I think is really beautiful. Kel, uh, Kanga, Kangaroo, always a pleasure to coach you. It's great to be uh, your friend, and I look forward to every time we do get a chance to talk or I get to see you on a pool deck. Uh, congratulations.